Okay guys, so have a look at this. I think this is actually quite cool. Uh, you're probably familiar with the image comparison feature like we have here, you know, we can go from one to the other. So you've seen that before, but this one has something a little bit different. This one, as you can see, you can add labels immediately. So let's say you're selling, let's say keyboards, okay? Now you want to show the difference between two different models. So maybe you have model A and then you have model B. So this is a very easy way for your visitors to compare two different items. Now let me show you another great feature with this plugin is that it could be horizontal as well. So maybe you have the before and after, or maybe you could do that with a house restoration or before painting a house, maybe before cleaning up a driveway, any of those features, you could do the before and after. Look at this. That's how, how cool is that? Very cool, isn't it? Or if you're selling items of clothing, you could have a label that says black and this one red. And if you go from one to the other, you can compare the two models immediately. Or perhaps you're an artist or maybe a photographer and you want to show the original and the modified version of a file. As you can see, you can easily do that to show your work. Okay, so let me show you how we can do that. And for this, we go to our WordPress dashboard. Now, again, this is an Elementor tutorial, so make sure that you have Elementor installed. As you can see here on the right hand side, it's already there in our menu section. And now we're going to install an additional plugin. So we're going to plugins, add new. And in the search box, you're going to type in power pack for Elementor. So this is the one here. So this is the light version. In other words, that's the free version. And all we have to do basically is to click install. There you go. And then we can activate it. Perfect. We're all set now. As you can see, our plugin is installed and also activated. And now we can go to our pages. So you can either edit an existing page or create a new one. I'm just going to create a new one. I'm going to call this test and we can edit with Elementor. Now from here, let's insert a section and maybe we can insert a two column section just like this. And now we're going to insert our element. So basically, if you scroll down the page here with all your tools and elements, you will see we have all a section, a complete section with the power pack elements. So there's lots of them being added. You can actually use all of these. Again, these are free. You see, you can have an advanced accordion, business hours, content reveal, flip box. So feel free to play around with this. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to show the image uh, comparison tool. So basically, if you scroll down, you can see you can find it here. And now you can drag and drop it onto your page, just like that. And now we can start customizing it. So as you can see here by the side, we have all our different features. So we have the before image, after image, and then a few settings attached to it. And then we can stylize the whole thing as well. So first, let's take care of our before image. So I thought maybe we could use the example of someone who's cleaning driveways. So it would be nice to actually show the work of before when the house is all dirty and maybe the after when it's all cleaned and power washed. So for this, we could just keep the same label. So this is your label, basically, as it says here before. So before is fine. And we're just going to add our picture. And for this, we're going to upload file, select file and select your two pictures. So upload the two pictures all at once. So I've prepared that already. We have a before and after. So open. And now we're going to select the one that is related to before. So before would be this one, all dirty, no? Insert. And we do the same with after. So click on this. So we can keep the label. After is fine. And now we're going to upload, select our picture. So this is the one. Insert. Okay, so let's have a quick look. So let's publish. And let's have a quick preview. And let's try this now. So as you can see, so this is was this was before. So absolutely dirty. And now it's after. So you can clearly see uh, how the work is being done and everything. So this is a very efficient way to actually uh, demonstrate your work. So now back to this uh, features here, we have different settings. Let me show you. So basically, as you can see at the moment, we have it horizontal. Now, if you select vertical, it'll be the other way around. You can go scroll up and down. So let's update quickly. Let's have a quick look. And as you can see, now we can go up or down to see the results. So it's just a matter of preferences. Again, this is really up to you. And uh, also we have the move slider. So basically, how do you want people to interact with that feature? Do you want them to drag? So basically at the moment, I have to click on it and drag it, as you can see physically. But if you change this, it could be mouse move. If this is the case, I don't even have to click on it. If I hover on top, 
as you can see, it's moving automatically. I have to get out of the frame for it to stop working, as you can see, okay? And then we also have mouse click. So let me update. And if you go back here, as you can see, it's not doing anything. And I have to click and bring it somewhere myself. So that's basically all the different options here. Now we have an overlay feature. So you can enable this or disable this. If the overlay is on, when you hover on top, as you can see, it gets a little bit darker. Now let me show you a few of the styling options. So you can add an overlay all together. So as you can see at the moment, if you hover on top, we have the overlay, which is this feature here, that one. But we also have a constant overlay. So if I was to add this, as you can see, it's constantly there. So that's the only difference between the two. So that's really up to you. And then we have the handle. So what's the handle? Is that a little round thing here in the middle? And you can change the color of that handle. If you want it to be more prominent, you can add a background color. So let's say, let's add maybe a red color like this. You see, now you can't miss it really, you know? And then what else do we have? You have the divider. So there's the line in between here, basically. And there as well, you can change the color. So you can make it red maybe or white, whichever you want. And then we have the labels. And this is what makes this widget so unique is that you have those labels. It is very nice, very nice touch, isn't it? So you have your before and after. So you can change the background color as well. So let's say maybe the before would be maybe, let's say green like this. Let's select the green maybe. Okay. And then the after maybe could be, let's say red. There you go. So that's how easy you can change the colors. Now you can't miss that. It stands out a lot better. You can change the text color as well. You can change the border type as well. You can add a border if you want it to, and you can change the border radius. So let's say you want it to be rounded, a bit more rounded. As you can see, we have a rounded shape now, and you can do the same with the before. So let's add 25. There you go. You have two different types of uh, labels now, and then you can play with the position as well. Maybe you want them to be on the left-hand side, maybe on the right-hand side, or bang on in the middle. That's up to you really. So let's have a quick look. So we click update. And let's go back to our front page here. And there you go. So this is the before and after. So if people want to see, oh, that's what it used to look like. And this is what this is now. Oh, fantastic. Amazing.